Um, David is now the stack taker. So if you would like to be on stack, please make eye contact with him and raise your hand high in the air. Uh, we have a point of process. We are in the phase of considering this proposal during which the proposal is announced. I, I announced this last night. My uh, mistake. This um, has been a draft proposal and it is now being brought before the General Assembly. This is a time for clarifying questions about this proposal. If you have a clarifying question, please raise your hand and David will put you on stack. One, two, three. Mic check. Mic check. For the funds. For the funds. Our part. Our part. What is the city going to do? What is the city going to do? For their part. For their part. For their maintenance. For their maintenance. I can only hope so. I hope as part of this we can reach a, a, a better uh, communication with the Parks Department. Um, so I think we're in the process of doing that now. So. Number two. Uh, Mike Jack. Mike Mike Jack. Jack. Um, I want to know if for every fund, I want to know if for every fund, I mean expense, I mean expense. Are we going to have to go through this slow process of General Assembly? Are we going to have to go through this slow process of General Assembly? So if you want to buy sod, so if you want to buy sod, sod, or a shovel, or, a shovel, or something that you see fit, or something that you, see fit, you have to go to General Assembly. You have to go to General Assembly. I don't know if there's anyone here from the Finance Committee that would have a little bit better insight into that. Um, I, I think that there might be a process for that, um, but, oh, oh, there is a direct response. Mic check. Mic check. Mic check. There is a process for that. There is a process for that. By which you submit a request to the Finance Committee. By which you submit a request to the Finance Committee. It's either approved or denied. And it's either approved or denied. From my, from my understanding of the proposal, from my understanding of the proposal, you said that the expenses would have to go through the General Assembly. Through the General Assembly. That's correct. Um, the idea is we basically hold this fund up until the very moment that we are leaving the camp and that, uh, that at that time, if we want to, say, come together to, uh, the, this, this working group of laborers and experts come together to say, we need these uh, list of 25 things um, and that's what we're going to use to uh, refurbish the park. It goes to this fund, and at that time, in one in one uh, <coughs> fell swoop to the GA, it says, we would like the GA to approve the withdrawal of these funds from this account for the purposes of refurbishing the park. If we are leaving the camp. If we ever if. leave the camp. And that's a very good, I mean, that's a very important thing to say. This is just because a large... <laughs> A large part of the point of this proposal is that we are showing the community at large in Portland that we're responsible and it, it has, whether or not we choose to leave the park at any time in the near future or the far future, it just shows that should that day come, we are responsible. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Number three. Number three. Uh, Mike Jack. Mike Jack. Mike Jack. Uh, my concern is that my concern is that I know from experience. I know from experience. You try to fix or improve upon public land in any way. You try to fix or improve upon public land in any way. The city will intervene. The city will intervene and stop you. And stop you. Because they have specific, like maybe they want this type of grass, and we have another. And so I'm not certain that. I'm not certain that. I'm not certain that. Uh, the, city, the city would allow. The city would allow. Is this a question? That's a concern. <laughs> We're still in the question phase, but please hold on to that for the concern phase. 
Are there any more clarifying questions about this proposal? One, two, three. Number one. How closely will you be working with the fire department? How closely will you be working with the fire department? That's to be determined. Um, right now, uh, I have not had any direct contact with the parks department. Um, there are some autonomous individuals in the park who have sort of uh, had some communication with the parks department, people that they know that they've worked with before, that sort of thing. Um, uh, it, this working group would have to have, I think, some sort of communication with the Parks Department. I do believe there is a person that is coming from the Parks Department here tomorrow. You can find that information at the information booth, so... Number two. Mike Jack. Mike Jack. It's kind of a two-parter. It's kind of a two-parter. The first part... The first part... ...is how can we donate... How can we donate... ...things like grass seed... Things like grass seed... ...or turf... Or turf, or fertilizer, or fertilizer, flowers, flowers, or things like that, things like that, that, that we might have, that we might to have to this <coughs> fund, to this fund, other than money. There's no provision yet, but that's a great idea, and I think the working group um, could take could take that into account. So, I think the working group could put together a plan to that end. That's a great great point. Um, we will now take concerns about this proposal. So if you have a concern, please raise your hand and David will put you on stack. One, two, three, four. Mike check. Mike check. Mike check. You also said, we you also said, said, this included, this included, our maintaining these grounds, our maintaining these grounds, while we're here, while we're here. What is that going to entail? What is that going to entail? Um, so that's a question, um, but let's it, I think it's important, so we'll take it. My, my conception is that um, starting even as soon as tomorrow, if this is approved, that um, I actually will start making some calls, and I really hope that if there are other people in um, the GA and in the camp who, who uh, have friends or family that are um, arborists and landscapers, that they can provide some contacts here. Um, where we can bring in experts uh, to facilitate with the engineering team and this uh, working group to walk around the camp and say, what things can we do better? Um, uh, for instance, the way the trees are, uh, you know, the way we're tied up with uh, ropes on the trees and that sort of things that could be affecting the park. So um, that's sort of my concept there. Um, the funds is a little bit ambiguous. Um, it, there are some, we've sort of gone back and forth, a couple of people, on, on whether or not we should be able to withdraw funds, um, for instance, for webbing on, on the trees, if that would improve the quality of the trees. Um, uh, um, right now, this proposal is just for restoration. If there's an amendment that someone would like to make to say it could be for, for maintenance uh, money as well, um, that could be addressed. I do. My concern is, my concern is, is like, why should we pay anything for a park that we're illegally occupying? Why should we pay anything for a park that we're illegally occupying? If we're going to pay the park. In that, <laughs> moving on with that, moving on with that, that, I feel that it is important, I feel that, that it is important, that we show the city, that we, show the city, that we mean business, that we mean business, about our deals, about our deals. Okay, I'm going to clarify the meaning of a direct response. A direct response is factual information in response to a question. Okay. Number three. Mike Jack. Mike Jack. My concern. My concern. Is dealing with. Is dealing with. The invasive species. The invasive species. That have already been planted. That have already been planted. That's about it. That's about it. That's about the community garden. No, the bamboo. Okay. Number four. My concern, my, my concern, concern lies in, lies in the lack of ecological diversity, the lack of ecological diversity already present in the park, already present in the park prior to our occupation. Prior to our occupation, if we are going to truly restore the park, if we are going to truly restore the park, then we need to leave the park, we need to leave the park way, 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 way better off. Biodiversity. High levels of biodiversity. Especially in the 
especially with, especially with native species, native species that provide, that value provide <coughs> environmental services, environmental environmental services. services. To, to plants and critters, plants and, plants and, critters, critters and bugs and birds. And birds. Are there any more concerns? We're going to open up a new stack. One, two, three, four. Number one. Yeah, my concern is just that I do not want to see a precedent set that uh, protesters have to pay for the costs of their protests. So uh, I would like the committee and the proposal to be clear with the city that we're doing this because we want to, uh, but not out of any obligation. Thank you. Number two. family owns Hoffman Construction, I am a one percenter. I'm sorry. I was born with a $1.5 million trust fund. I bought solar panels. Um, we're having Hoffman Construction come down on Friday and measure this area out. And then by next Friday, you should be fully solar and ready to go. We will have wireless... wireless uh, charging stations, you know the Wi-Fi pads where you just set it in and it charges. We'll be handing out the individual things for your batteries, phones, laptops, and all that so you can do that. Um, my concern is I'm not allowed to sleep here. Okay, I'm sorry, but my home is under construction right now. I cannot occupy it due to asbestos, mold. I bought a home that was made in the 1850s because I have nostalgia issues. <laughs> but basically what I'd like to say is solar's on its way. The National Guard in two to three weeks is being deployed to come down here and give you medical, food, and clothing. My CO was sending me to Iraq on Friday and has now given me a new job to run the people when they get here. My rank is E9. That means I'm a sergeant major in the United States Marine Corps. I almost, thank you, I almost went to Iraq on Friday. Luckily, my job got changed. Great, thank you for that. Okay, number, number four. My concern? My concern? Also involved this guy over here is concerned. Um, without the help uh, or the cooperation with the parks department, without the cooperation with the parks department, I just don't see uh, the committee being held or uh, I just don't see the committee being held or uh, looked at uh, um, seriously. Looked at seriously. Great, are there any other pressing concerns that need to be raised right now? One. Okay, just one. Uh, my only concern is in the event that we do not decide to leave, or two, that we are forcibly removed, and we're dealing with these kind of funds in the thousands of thousands of dollars. Uh, the, the donors of this money, uh, you know, might be mad or something if something doesn't happen with this uh, when we're talking about these this high of uh, an amount of money okay thank you that ends the concerns phase of this proposal